let me quickly just fill everybody in and just give you a couple of reminders. Um, I wanted to remind everybody that um, this class is a speech class, so it is mandatory for you to submit your speech videos. Um, so for next week, we actually are going to be working on our first major speech, which is the anecdotal speech. Um, so I wanted to remind you all that uh, those speeches are required. You have to complete your speeches in order to pass this speech class. I noticed that um, there were many people who actually missed their check-in introduction speech video. And um, that one was just kind of like a check-in assignment just to get you warmed up. But our, but our future speeches are required and you have to submit them if you want to pass the class. So I just wanted to do a quick reminder when it comes to that. I also wanted to remind you all that your assignments are due tonight at 11.59 p.m. So you have um, a couple of discussion posts. Uh, I hope that you have done the reading as well and that you have completed um, the quizzes and everything that you have to do next week, this week. Um, like I said, next week we will be introduced to our first major speech, which is the anecdotal speech. Um, so kind of like really quickly, I wanted to go over that, kind of to answer any questions that you might have in regards to that speech. So let me quickly do that before I actually jump into the quick mini lecture that I want to do for today. Okay, so let me quickly share the screen with you all. So this week we have um, we have a due, just kind of like uh, outlining and just giving you a little basics on outlining. I will be go doing a mini lecture today, kind of like helping you clarify how to outline. But I have filmed a pre-recorded video on this week's module that kind of explains to you and it walks you through an outline that I created particularly for this class. So I would highly encourage you all to watch that video, that mini lecture, it's only a few minutes long, but it definitely gives you some detail as to how outlining works. And one of the things that I want to just like be like clear about and I want to emphasize is that your speech is only going to be as great as your outline. So if your outline is messy, um, it, it's just like a huge blob, it's an essay, that's how it's going to translate when you're actually delivering your speech, right? It's going to translate kind of like as a run on thought, it's not going to have pauses, transitions, um, it's not going to be well organized. Um, so make sure that you do watch that video, that you do read your chapters assigned for this week so that you know what outlining looks like. Um, so that's that. Also, you have a quiz and you have a couple of discussion posts to do this week. Um, so that's what it's due this week. Next week, we actually are going to go into the anecdotal speech. And let me kind of go over it really quickly just to help you understand what the speech will be about. So this is your first major speech. And like I was saying at the very beginning of the class, you are required to submit speeches for this class in order for you to pass the course. Um, the major assignments for this course are speeches. So it doesn't matter how many quizzes or discussion posts you submit. Even if you submit all of them, but you fail to submit your speeches, you will, you will not pass the class. I just wanted to state that out loud. It is a speech class. Um, so for this speech, basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be giving us a little insight into who you are. So you're going to be picking out a story from your life um, that either, um, you know, it's an experience that changed you forever, it's a memory you never forget, or something that you learn, or an experience that you learned something from, and you're going to be telling us that story. Um, this upcoming week, the, uh, the only assignment that you have due for this upcoming week for like the end of next week, um, it's a discussion post in which you are going to be submitting your topic approval to me. So you're going to be letting me know what story you're going to be using. There is a prompt for that discussion post that asks you to um, kind of like detail what you're going to be talking about, giving me a little you know, a little background, a little overview of what you're going to be talking about so I can give you helpful feedback. Um, so that's what you're going to be doing. So the story can be anything you want it to be as long as it is appropriate. Um, so remember, like, keep in mind who your audience is. We are in college. Um, so be mindful, like, if you wouldn't say it in a classroom, um, don't say it, even if it's in an online platform, right? Just like, be appropriate when it comes to the audience that you're like the speech that you're going to be talking about. Now, I get a lot of questions about whether the speech 
can be like how personal can this speech be um it's up to you how personal you want to make the speech um it is ultimately your choice if you want to tell us a very personal story and if you feel comfortable with it that that's fine um if you feel like you want to just be a little more superficial you don't want to share too much then that's fine too it, honestly whatever you feel comfortable with that's what i want you to share with the class uh, so yes, and kind of like what you did with the checking speech, this speech is going to be um, due on the application called Flipgrid. Flipgrid is already embedded into your assignment. So all you have to do is just literally click on your assignment on your computer and it will tell you to Flipgrid. Um, so it's already there. You just have to submit it there. Uh, you know, whenever you find like, you know, the time of day for you to submit that, that's perfectly fine. Um, but remember that it is due in a, it's actually due in a couple of weeks so you have like a good two weeks to actually think about your topic and then rehearse and prepare your speech so these are the requirements for the speech you have to get your topic approved like i said your discussion post that's due for next week is where you will be submitting your topic you are going to um also submit an outline so in the first speech that we did the little checking speech you didn't have to submit an outline because it was just kind of like a little exercise for this speech you do have to submit an outline and that's why this week i spent a lot of time creating that module being detailed as to how to outline um so make sure that you do complete a good outline if you need any help and you want me to look your outline over i will be more than happy to do so um, you can either join me during office hours or you can just send me a message on canvas and be like hey professor you know i have attached my outline can you look it over and give me some feedback on it i'll be more than happy to do so um there is a template on canvas that you can look at uh, that will help you kind of just like plug in to create your outline you also have to film your speech video on flipgrid like i said so practice it and then just like film it when you feel ready on Flipgrid. And it again, kind of like how it works with your check-in assignment, that's the same way that it's going to work here. It has, um, you know, like it's there, you just have to click on the assignment. Um, your speech time limits are three to four minutes in length, meaning that a minimum of three minutes, a maximum of four. Try not to go over the maximum amount of minutes. If you do go over, try to not go over more than 30 seconds. Um, because after those th first 30 seconds that you go over, you will be deducted points. Um, also, you do not, we don't need to use a visual aid or anything like that. If you want to use a visual aid, you are more than happy to do so, but you don't have to. Also, if you are going to use a visual aid, make sure it's either a prop or a, you know, like a picture printed on a paper. I don't want you to do any of that screen sharing, none of that stuff, because it makes it a little more complicated to deliver your speech and then be handling the technology. So just use something that you can physically hold. If you have an, you know, like an iPad or an iPhone and you have a little picture there and you want to show it to us like that and hold it onto the screen, that's fine. Just don't do any of that screen sharing, no like separate slides in which you have to share the screen it makes it way too complicated for you all. Um, if you need help with filming your video on Flipgrid, I have attached my video. The video is kind of like talking you how to film your video on Flipgrid right here. And also, I just want to encourage you to practice your speech. So once you have got your outline down, uh, grab some flashcards, kind of like jot some notes in there, practicing in front of your family, with yourself in front of a mirror. And then after you feel like you got it to a good place, then you can go ahead and film your speech on Flipgrid. Um, so that's definitely what I want you to do, just to kind of like help you do well on this speech. Um, it is our first major speech, so I don't expect people to be perfect or anything like that. Um, I just expect you to do like a, your best job and to, just to share your information with us. Um, one of the things that I like to remind students about public speaking is public speaking is kind of like riding a bicycle. The first few times you learn how to ride a bicycle, you fall, you're scared, uh, but it's only like, you know, upwards and onwards from there, right? The more you practice, the better you will get at it. Um, and it's a skill that you have to constantly practice in order to keep being good at it. Otherwise, you know, if you stop riding a bike after a few years or so, it, it will be a, a little bit rusty again when you get back on it, but you'll eventually get the hang of it. Just rehearse a lot. And the more that you rehearse, the better you will get at public speaking. So that's that. So remember that, let me take you back to our Canvas page. So next week, the only thing that we have due 
it's that discussion post in which you are going to be submitting your topic approval for the speech. You're going to let me know like what, uh, what your story you're going to be telling us and all of that. And then the following week on week four is when you submit your outline and your video. So that's what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. And you know that we will be halfway through the session by that time. So it's really fast. Um, does anybody have any questions in regards to uh, the speech or anything that's coming up? You're good? All right, so let me quickly just go through the lecture today so that I can you know, let you go and do your thing for the day. So again, like I was saying, I did a pretty good, I feel like I did a pretty good job with the video that I submitted online for you all to be watching on how to outline. However, I feel like I want to also go over outlining and all of that right now when uh, I am going, oh, when I'm going through like, you know, our lecture today. So I kind of want to go over outlining one more time um, right now, and then you will be more than free to go for today. Let's see. Share the screen. 